so I've been standing for about an hour. Um, still making progress. I was watching the guy on Total Boat Works. Another really good resource on YouTube, uh, Total Boat Works. Really, really another great resource. Um, and so I've been sanding it down, making it smooth. I mean, I mean, for goodness gracious, I got I got a good quarter inch, a half inch of epoxy through this whole thing. So it's it's fairly smooth, but it's not like smooth like a piece of glass. It's got little waves in it because hell, I'm laying epoxy down and do my best to make it smooth. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, it's fairly smooth. I mean, you look over here, you see, I got a couple areas of, of ridges. See the little ridge, I mean, it's a sixteenth of an inch, maybe. I might pop this with a, the sander a little bit more, but this has got to be, it's got to be good enough for the fiberglass. I mean, I, mean, I'm, I guess we'll find out. But I'm gonna sand it some more. I'm gonna sand it some more. Get it as absolutely as smooth as I can. This actually, I've been hitting this for a while. It's got a couple of ridges, but um, overall fairly smooth. And I think uh, my fiberglass will fit well in there. All right. Well, damn, battery's almost dead again. So let me, uh, let me get back to it. All right. So I took the grinder to it for a little bit. Really smooth things out. You can see much smoother than it was. I haven't cleaned it. It's a little dusty. But um, I decided to reach out to my my friend uh, John Kiljian or Dr. John if you call him. Um, he was kind of my inspiration for doing this. So we're going to kind of get his thoughts, see if this is ready to start fiberglassing before I get started. Today is fiberglass day. So I'm um, I've taken acetone and I've cleaned all the corners out, gotten all the dust from the crack, which was right there. Got that all covered up, all cleaned up. Um, I made sure I wiped everything down. So I'm going to vacuum here, get the last bits. And so here I'm also laying out the, the, the fiberglass. This is a two inch strip right here. It's a two inch. So I'm just going to go straight to the bow, do this one strip, all one continuous strip. And then I have a three inch over there, which I'll lay down on top. So I was watching on Boatworks um, on the YouTube video. The guy was using this gizmo right here um, to help flush out the, uh, the bubbles, so it was real smooth. So I bought one. Gonna get it, get, gonna give it a go. Uh, I'm gonna wet everything out first, and then I'll lay the glass on top. Then I'll, put, then I'll come back with more epoxy. Um, I didn't see anything about thinning it out or thickening it up either one. So I'm just gonna go with straight epoxy. Um, and that should help soak it in the glass as well. So there we go. I'm really nervous at this part. Should you just you screw this up? You should, I mean. But you know, it's really kind of nerve wracking. I propped up the stern the transom. So here we go. Put it wet out.
Mm. Get some of the stuff out of the way. This guy. This guy. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Look at this. So I'm just coming in here and making sure. See like that little, little guy right there. Look at this one just knocks it right out. Not even there anymore. It is doing some moving, but I like how it everything just gets flattened out. Yeah, this was a good tool to get. So it helps. Help spread the fiberglass and it also smooths it out. So this is really this is a good 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 tool. Sorry about that. Uh, I had so much epoxy on my hands I couldn't get the camera started again. So anyway, I finished it all up. So all the fiberglass is in. Uh, what I had to do. Do a little bit more cleanup, but my main reason for wanting to hurry was because of the crack here last time, and I had the, the transom swung up. I didn't want the boat to be out of out of angle, so I wanted to get the, all the fiberglass here, here, and here done. Then I could put the transom back where it belongs. Um, transom is not going to move after this, so I made sure it's in it's in the proper location. Um, I just got a little bit more cleanup to do up here. Up here I did really good. Here's the here's where it all comes together. And then um, all the way up here to the top. So overall I think it did pretty good. I, I had a couple a lot of drips, so I'm gonna try to go back and clean up all the drips. But um, look at that, a fiberglass to boat. Hot damn. Who knew? So there you go. She's all done. So um, unfortunately, <laughs> the, the, the GoPro, I couldn't turn the GoPro on because I was covered in, in epoxy, but um, put the two inch stripe down, then I came back, put the three inch down, and um, wetted it and applied it. I mean, it looks to me like it's pretty good up here. Um, so I have a couple of spots that I'm a little bit concerned about, not too much, I mean, considering the amount of epoxy and the amount of fiberglass. I might have some delamination like right there, but some of it just simply will not stick no matter how much epoxy I put on. So, but overall, overall I think it, did, I think it turned out pretty well. And the, the transom is back in place where it belongs. Um, it might move, it might not move after this if the epoxy sticks to it. Either way, it's probably fine because, actually it is fine, because I'll start building the bulkheads next as soon as this dries and as soon as I, uh, Whew, as soon as I cool off. That, um, look at that. Very exciting. Very exciting. Not near as hard as, not as near as hard as I was worried about. I was very concerned and it turned out to be pretty straightforward. So, um, that was awesome. <laughs>